Curious Cosmos welcomes you all. How NASA's X-59 is quietly breaking the supersonic sound barrier. When you think of supersonic flight, one sound might come to mind, the unmistakable, earth-shaking sonic boom. This explosive noise, created when an aircraft travels faster than the speed of sound, has been a major barrier to the widespread adoption of supersonic air travel over land. But what if this boom could be reduced to a gentle thump? That's exactly what NASA is working on with the X-59 Quiet Supersonic Technology KSST, aircraft. But achieving this feat requires cutting-edge tools and groundbreaking science. NASA's recent tests of advanced shock sensing technology are key to unlocking the future of quiet, efficient supersonic flight. Let's explore how this works and what it could mean for aviation. Why do supersonic planes make sonic booms? A sonic boom occurs when an aircraft travels faster than the speed of sound, about 1,225 km per hour, 761 miles per hour, at sea level. At these speeds, the aircraft compresses air in front of it, creating shock waves. These waves eventually merge and radiate outward as a loud boom, heard by anyone within its path. For decades, this noise has been the main reason why supersonic travel over land has been restricted. The Concorde, for example, was only allowed to fly supersonic over oceans to avoid disturbing populated areas. The X-59, however, is designed differently. Its sleek shape and advanced engineering allow it to reshape shock waves, dispersing them in a way that transforms the deafening boom into a softer, less disruptive thump. This could revolutionize air travel, making supersonic speeds possible over residential areas without causing noise pollution. How does NASA measure shock waves? The success of the X-59 depends on NASA's ability to precisely measure the shock waves it generates. This is where shock sensing probes come into play. These cone-shaped devices, mounted on aircraft, measure air pressure changes caused by shock waves during supersonic flight. Two types of probes. NASA has developed two distinct types of shock sensing probes, each designed to capture data from different regions of the X-59's flight path. Near field probe. O position close to the X-59, this probe measures shock waves right at their source. O it operates at altitudes of around 55,000 feet, where the aircraft cruises, and captures real-time data as the X-59 generates shock waves. Midfield probe. O position further away, this probe measures shock waves as they travel through the atmosphere toward the ground. O it collects data at altitudes between 5,000 and 20,000 feet, helping researchers understand how the waves evolve over distance. These probes are equipped with five pressure ports, one at the tip and four around the cone. They measure the local air pressure, speed, and direction of airflow, providing a detailed picture of the shock wave's characteristics. Why are these measurements important? Shock sensing probes serve as the truth source for NASA's research. By comparing the real-world data collected by the probes with predictions from computer models, researchers can validate and refine the accuracy of their models, optimize the X-59's design to minimize noise, ensure the aircraft meets its goal of producing quiet sonic thumps. This process is critical for the KSST mission, as it will determine whether the X-59 can truly deliver on its promise of quiet supersonic flight. The role of the F-15B aircraft. To test the probes, NASA uses an F-15B aircraft as a high-speed data collector. Here's how the process works. The F-15B is equipped with a shock sensing probe on its nose. It flies in formation with the X-59, maintaining a precise distance to capture shock waves as they're generated. For the near-field probe, the F-15B flies just behind the X-59, using a follow-the-leader setup. For the mid-field probe, the F-15B collects data separately, studying how shock waves behave closer to the ground. The probe continuously collects thousands of pressure samples per second, providing an unparalleled view of how shock waves interact with the surrounding air. What challenges has NASA overcome? Developing accurate shock sensing probes has not been without its difficulties. Here are two major challenges NASA faced and how they were addressed. Distance and delays in data collection. Previous probe designs placed pressure transducers, devices that measure air pressure, about 12 feet away from the probe's ports. This distance caused delays in recording time and distorted the data. O oh solution, NASA redesigned the probes to place the transducers just 5 inches from the ports, significantly improving measurement speed and accuracy. Temperature sensitivity. Earlier versions of the probe struggled with temperature changes during flight, leading to fluctuating accuracy. O oh solution, NASA introduced a heating system to maintain a consistent temperature for the transducers, ensuring reliable data collection regardless of external conditions. These upgrades have made the probes more efficient and capable of meeting the stringent requirements of the KSST mission. 
What does this mean for the future of aviation? The X-59 and its shock-sensing technology could transform the aviation industry in several ways. Supersonic flights over land, quiet sonic thumps could lead to the lifting of restrictions on supersonic travel over populated areas. Shorter flight times, reduced noise concerns would make supersonic travel more accessible, cutting intercontinental flight times in half. Innovative aircraft design, the insights gained from these tests could inspire new designs for quieter, more efficient aircraft across the industry. NASA's work on the X-59 is more than just a technological breakthrough, it's a glimpse into the future of sustainable, high-speed air travel. Join the Curious Cosmos community. Are you as fascinated as we are by the incredible science behind supersonic flight and the potential to reshape the future of aviation? At Curious Cosmos, we bring you the latest updates on space exploration, groundbreaking technology, and the mysteries of the universe. Right pointing finger, like this video if you enjoyed exploring NASA's supersonic mission with us. Speech bubble, share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the possibility of quiet supersonic travel? Link symbol, don't forget to share this video with your fellow science enthusiasts. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Join our journey through the cosmos as we uncover the secrets of science and innovation. Let's explore the universe together, Milky Way.